How Denzel Washington became one of the best actors of our generation. Stick around to find out. This is a continuous improvement movement reserved for the few with the grit to prove it. Everybody claim but the click exclusive. Many pursue but it's too elusive. Calvin, today we are going to talk about Denzel Washington. And you know who I'm talking about. I might have. I might have seen a movie or two with the, the great Denzel. Okay. What about any motivational speech? Yeah. Uh, you know, he's actually he's actually building quite an influence on like YouTube and some of the social media. You see, I was kind of surprised to see that because a lot of time you don't see actors you know, being influencing in that way. But Denzel has been, he's been a, a, a big avid, advocate for motivation and achievement and excellence in general. And, you know, I like to see that actually. Yeah. So today, Calvin, I want to break down the principle that made Denzel the caliber of actor that he is mm. nowadays. You know, he's known for being very disciplined, having a disciplined lifestyle. He wakes up and he has his little meditation and prayer. He likes to start his day grounded in purpose. Mm. And he's also known for this quote. I'm going to read you because I don't want to paraphrase it. And is without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. Mm, that's what, it. Yeah, what do you think is Denzel's secret sauce for success? You know, I've been a fan of Den Denzel's probably since my teenage years, maybe even elementary school years. I'm trying to think back, my first Denzel movie, I can't even think of what it was, but Denzel is nothing if not consistent. Mm -hmm. And he is, I think he's an icon in that regard. I mean, if you put Denzel in your movie, you got something going, right? You got you got one, and uh, he's the kind of guy who is is is, you know, there's a there's a whole black Hollywood thing, and you know, that's it's difficult to find work in Hollywood for blacks, and there's a whole thing of that. You know, I'm not involved in Hollywood so closely, but I hear stories from from actors and comedians and the like. But I don't think Denzel has those kind of problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is so good at what he does and you can really tie it back to his consistency. And he's also the kind of person that seems to get better with time, which if you are a leader trying to drive a culture of continuous improvement, that's exactly what you're looking for. You're right, Calvin. The key to continuous improvement is continue to learn, continue to get better. There is always, always room for improvement. Yeah. And you could tell you could tell that he's the kind of guy who probably is obsessed with his career field and studies, you know, the history, the current keeps up with the trends, you know, builds relationships like you could tell he's a high, high, high professional in his craft. Mm -hmm. And I think to, to be a high professional, you got to have a set of standards mm -hmm. for how you conduct yourself. Now, you mentioned that he wakes up every morning, he does his prayers, he has a certain routine. That reminds me of standardization, you know, standard operating procedures, standard work, leader standard work, right? We talk about that in the, the Lean Continuous Improvement community. Um, I think Denzel has a very, very, very disciplined set of behavior patterns that he executes on a daily basis that provides him with the foundation that he can continue to improve from. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you know, one of his most memorable roles where, was when he interpreted Malcolm X. Did you, <laughs> did you watch that movie? Oh, yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, he spent months memorizing and practicing the smallest details. Mm. My, my, Malcolm's tone of voice, his delivery, his mannerisms, absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you can... You can watch Denzel mm -hmm. and the level of detail and the level of becoming the character is is not the same as watching like a B-list actor. I don't want to pick on any names, but, you know, uh, mm -hmm. there are some rappers who aren't the best actors. You could pick one, right? <laughs> but <laughs> it, I mean, there's a reason. There's, there's a clear distinction that sets Denzel apart from the rest. Mm -hmm. And in in 
How many times do you think Denzel practices his lines before he goes up in front of a camera? You know, right, right. It takes months. It you, takes you can, months. You of, can tell. You can see the pursuit of excellence. You can see it. Absolutely. And you can, like, as he gets older and more mature, you know, obviously the types of roles he takes on matures also. Um, but you can see how he's continually, continuously improving on his past work to create even better work. Right. The Denzel of today is, you know, on a on a on a on an incline, right? A gradual incline to to recognize what the world, you know, how to produce value in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, ultimately, as CI people, we're, we're trying to figure out, you know, how to stay connected to the market, how to continuously produce value. You can see that as an actor on the big screen, Denzel's got he's got a good formula. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there's a lot there for us all to learn from. Mm -hmm. So, Calvin, we have talked about so far about uh, being a self-learning mm -hmm. learner yeah. as a core principle for continuous improvement. We have talked about the importance of coaching. And today we just talked about the importance of consistency. Yes. So you see a pattern and you can start grasping the tools that you can use for your continuous improvement journey. That's it. That's it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Let's get better every day and we'll see you again tomorrow. For daily news on operational excellence and how it relates to current events, check us out on the Ticket to Freedom podcast. Simply subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on the latest developments in continuous improvement.